Hello, Dr. J here. Uh, to give you more practice on using Euler's formula, we're going to use it to prove some trigonometric identities. So in earlier videos, I showed that the cosine omega t can be expressed as a sum of complex exponentials. And I've shown in another video that the sine omega t is a difference between two complex exponentials. And we're going to use these formulas to sh prove some common trig identities, such as cosine of squared omega t plus sine squared omega t. And we'll see that's equal to 1. You could think of this as the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals c squared, where x is cosine omega t, sine is omega t, and the hypotenuse has a radius of 1 or length of 1. So here we just look at the cosine squared omega t. We use this definition of cosine of the complex exponential and substitute here and we square it. We'll do the same thing with the sine and we square it. Then we're going to multiply this out algebraically and so when you square e to the j omega t we get e to the j 2 omega t. Similarly we when we square e to the minus j omega t, we get e to the minus j omega t, t. Where does this 2 come from? Well, when you square this, we see that we got um, e to the j omega t multiplied by e to the minus j omega t is 1, and that's going to happen twice. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and that's why we have the 2 here. And squaring the denominator of 2, we get 4. Now we'll do the same thing with the sine except now we have a minus sign in front of here and the minus sign came from the j term when you square it j times j becomes a negative the negative 2 in here in the numerator is a result of this negative sign when you multiply e to the j omega t times e to the minus j omega t and this is going to occur twice okay negative 2 here then we have e to the j 2 omega t is a result of squaring this first term and then here we have e to the minus j 2 omega t which results from squaring this term here. What we have now is these two things cancel because of the minus sign here and then this term and this term cancels again due to the minus sign here and then the negative and negative becomes a plus 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and hence, 4 over 4 is equal to 1, which is, if you look at your trig books, this is a common identity. We'll do one more trigonometric identity using these relationships for cosine and sine. And just to show you that this Euler's formula stuff does really work, so sine omega t times cosine omega t. We'll substitute the definitions in terms of complex exponentials here for the cosine and here for the sine. All right. Now when you multiply and square this, you could see here this is really going to be like the difference of squares. So when you got e to the j omega t times e to the j omega t, that just gives us e to the j two omega t since these to have a common base and you just simply add their exponents and we do the same thing for this term and this term giving you e to the minus j to omega t and we have a minus sign here since this is a minus and that's a plus also we see that the inner terms will cancel out with the outer terms because when you multiply e to the minus j omega t and e to the j omega t that's equal to 1 and a negative one in this case for the inner term and then the outer terms is a plus one so that's why you don't have a constant appearing in the numerator here also I have put the 2j under this expression because I want to use the sine definition and when you use the sine definition you could see that we have 2 omega t as an argument for our sine and then we got the one half factor due to this one here in the previous equation so what we get is a trigonometric identity multiplying 2 on both sides gives us 2 sine omega t cosine omega t on the right side and on the left side of this equation as a result of applying the definition of a sine where we see the argument is 2 omega t. 
So that's it with the trigonometric identities. I'll probably do some more on the trig identities uh, just to give you more confidence that this Euler's formula do work in proving trigonometric identities. I've used omega t here and here because usually you'll see these uh, expressions, these Euler expressions in uh, signals and systems as well as other advanced topics such as digital signal processing. Thanks for watching. Signing off is Dr. J.